Have you ever wondered what this road sign actually means other than you got a dangerous grade ahead of you and you got to put on your brakes? In this video, I'll explain what this sign actually means in terms of math really fast and how to calculate it. What's great about percentage is that it applies across borders. It doesn't matter if you live in a metric country or if you live in a country that uses feet and inches. 8% is 8%. In terms of math, this is what I have in mind. 8% to make it into a fraction, it means just 8 out of 100. And it doesn't matter 8 what, it could be 8 inches over 100 inches or 8 centimeters over 100 centimeters or 8 miles over 100 miles or 8 millimeters over 100 millimeters. It doesn't matter. It works for any of these as long as the top and the bottom numbers, the numerator and the denominator, if you like swearing, are the same unit, have the same unit of measurement. Now, uh, and consequently, if you have, just one more, if you have a 12% grade or slope, that again means 12 over 100. 12 anything over 100 anything. Okay, how does this, uh, what does it uh, mean? So that was the math part. Okay, what you can, uh, what this one relates to, this is a drop amount and this is a run amount. And that makes a fraction as well. Okay, what the heck is a drop? I'll show you. If this one is your street over a horizontal distance of a hundred units of anything. This is your run and this is your drop here. Drop. Over a hundred inches you measure down eight inches. That would be eight percent. Eight. Not eighty. Eight percent. Or a hundred centimeters over eight centimeters or a hundred miles Good luck with that, 8 miles, or 100 millimeters over 8 millimeters. And it's really, really easy to measure on a job site or uh, pick your favorite street, because what you do is get one of those uh, preferably long levels, like a meter long level or a four foot level, a beam level that you can put uh, on the pavement. It's got a little vial in it with a bubble with a little bit of liquid moving in it, usually green, and just work one corner there touching the road and make it level. And then you need a piece of tape measure or a ruler or something. If you grab a ruler, make sure it starts at zero, okay? Because some rulers don't start at zero like... Ah, this is too bad. All right, like that one. You can see that the number on it, there, that number, that 300, it doesn't start at the edge of the ruler. Same with, same with zero, it doesn't start at the, at the edge. Okay, you get the idea. You have to measure down to determine your grade. Okay, we're going to make angles out of it, degrees, angles of a circle. So this 8% is how many degrees? For that, you will need a calculator like this. And uh, this you do on a calculator. Say that 12 over 100, that's a fraction, it needs to be entered in either a bracket, like that, 12 over 100, or needs to be entered as a decimal, like 0 0.12. Either way is good. I'll show you both. I'll prove it to you. And then you need a tangent function on this scientific calculator, because if you want to determine that angle, and this is trigonometry and high school, whatever. This is the opposite side and that's the adjacent side to that angle. Adjacent to that angle and opposite to that angle. So what you do is, second function, let me just get it a little closer to you. Now maybe switch it on. Second function, tangent. Let's work with that 0 0.12 equals. That number is your angle, 6.8 degrees. So I went tangent, but not just tangent, I'm just going to do a tangent minus one, because on the calculator it looks like a tangent minus one button, and you get 6.8 degrees. There, you have your degrees, then it's a 6.8. And uh, 
it works in fractions but then you need a bracket so tangent minus one so it's a second function tangent button bracket 12 over 100 that's a 12 divided by 100 there so you can see it maybe close the bracket equals 6.8 you get the same number so it works in fraction or in decimal format so you have a 6.8 degree slope that's degrees and uh, that's how you can that's what these slopes mean and that's how you can uh, convert them to degrees now if you go out there on the street and you measure uh, you measure your say uh, you have to mark but not necessarily but you might want to have a, a level that's a hundred centimeters long and you measure down centimeters or but it doesn't have to be a hundred you can measure down three inches on a level that's 48 inches long you have yourself the same drop becomes the numerator and 48 becomes the denominator and just do that division on a calculator like this 3 over 48 like that and you write down that number that's 0 0.0625 0 0.0625 and then just go second function tangent 0 0.0625 Five equals that's three and a half degrees. So if you let that converts to with the same type of math, tangent, second function, that's what the minus one is, uh, 0 0.0625, that's what I entered, and it gives me again, what was that number? 3.5 degrees. That's a 3.5 degree slope. And uh, that's how you get your uh, slope measured uh, in, in degrees. Now, <clears throat> if you want to know how many percent this slope is, say a 3 over 48, is 3 over 48 is how many, how many percent? What you need to do is multiply this number with that number. 3 times 100, that's 300. And then you divide it by this 48. 300 divided by the 48 equals 6.25. So if you go out there and measure your favorite hill, and it's got uh, a 3 inch of drop over a 48 inch, that's a 4 foot level length, then it has a 6.25 per cent, per 100, 6.25% slope. So that's how you work with these slope numbers, that's what they mean. Have fun with it.